guys, what's up? D Live here, and I'm back again with some more maze. We are here with Vladdy, who just risked his life for us. He got shocked a little bit, but he's still fine. He opened a door for us. We got locked in here, but we got a nuclear fuel rod, and I have no idea what that's going to be for. I love your squeaking little feet. I don't know. Were you like an actual children's toy or a dog toy? Because that sounds like a dog toy. That sounds like Louie's toys. Bobby Buffoon, why is there a lobby here? And what happened to the decontamination de 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 room? Ted. Hey, hiya, Ted. Pretty sure I told you. I did a little rework here. Think this will be a real high traffic spot for the tour. Gonna be a real money maker. Words fail me, idiots. And stop it with the statues. <laughs> All right, so this is definitely a new area. Uh, flyer for Paul's Pools and Pest Removal. Advertises big savings for orders within a 20 mile radius of the shop, along with a free extermination of one pest. The cheapest pool in the flyer has been circled several times in red pen. Okay, so they do pools, but then they also do pest removal. Very weird combination. Is that normal? Bob, I noticed this flyer and assumed this was your work. So I will remind you, pools are not safe to hold chemical waste. Why did you order one, stupid? <laughs> Ted's very angry. I mean, Ted, why don't you just go over his head and get rid of him if he's being such an asshole? All right, a coffee maker. You took this not because you want to make coffee, but that you heard that coffee machines grant you one wish. After much thought, you wished for coffee. It didn't come true. I'm, I'm okay without the coffee. I'm okay, I'm not a big, I'm a big coffee person. This little switches and stuff, I can't do anything with that. What do you make of this, Vladdy? I have I have never worked at a nuclear reactor or been to one, have you? I know to be an idiot in there, it would be very bad. Vladdy, stay here, in case you do something stupid. <laughs> well, I guess that answers my question. Vladdy thinks I'm an asshole and I'm gonna blow up everything. Open to, to the reactor room, nice. I thought that was gonna need a card or something. All right. Oh shit! What did I do? Oh no, you did something stupid, Vladdy! You were right! I did something. It's going to blow up! I don't know what I have to do, but I'm gonna save the world. Save the nuclear reactor somehow, I don't know. Where do I go? It's like a oh, Is this supposed to be a maze? Oh, I don't know if I'm going the right way. I didn't mean to press the button, it was just there and I wanted it. I don't think we go this way. Oh shit. Oh no. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm panicking. Everything's gonna blow up because of me. <gasps> I didn't know. <gasps> what is this? Place fuel rod and containment canister. Now run back and hit that button before you blow up. Oh fuck my life. Oh, I need the cardio. It's, it's, I, admit I skipped out a leg day, okay? I'm sorry. Please don't blow up. I've done good. I've done good, okay? I've made up for almost killing everybody. Vladdy, please just press the goddamn button. Do I press this button? Completely, completed horribly unsafe fuel rod installation procedure. Holy shit. Oh man, 27 seconds, I almost died. Okay, are we good now? Jesus. Jeez Louise, Vladdy. You were right, man, why? Why are you always right? Hi. <laughs> I did something stupid. All right, so can I press the button now? Reserve power mode. Restarted the worst nuclear reactor in the world. That statue freaks me out. What is this stupid thing? Flatty, not everything is stupid. Give it a chance. Again with the crawling. Stanya <gasps> Vesilo. Uh, what is Vladdy doing here? Is this Vladdy's purpose? Crawling uh, and climbing through stupid uh, junk to get uh, more stupid junk? Uh, and for what? This stupid garbage? This is useless. No use. No purpose. Just more garbage. Garbage for idiots. Always. Oh, Vladdy, watch out. Oh. Oh, you did it, Vladdy. Are you okay? Garbage. What is wrong with your eyes? Of this garbage worth Vladdy suffering. You already know the answer. No, because it's garbage. All right, so we got a hook control console. That's important, Vladdy. 
You might make me cry getting me stuff. Actually, there's something in my eye. All right, so I put that in there. Start. Ooh. So, I did. this is what stupid thing does? <laughs> Vladdy still think it garbage. <laughs> the thing you did was important, probably. Okay. Oh, there's something over here. Another rock. <laughs> this rock has no idea whether it is a rock. A, f a, f a facsimile of a rock? Or an amalgamation of many rocks or non-rock? By picking it up, you have done undone all of its conclusions about the world up until this point. You have named it Wallace. Okay, well, <laughs> Wallace, enjoy the ride of this game. You are now... Oh, does this fall? Do you think you may have problem, idiot? You take too much garbage. You know what, Vladdy? Calm down. Aha! I was right. Vladdy, I'm a genius. Okay. I guess we press this button. Another hook. Yeah! I don't know what this is for. That does not sound good. No, it doesn't. Oh, no! It broke. Tanya Vesilo. Why is this place so stupid? Nothing <laughs> works. Idiot American machines. Whoa! Oh, damn. It just kicked shit. Well done, idiot. Breaking it will help. Stupid. <laughs> you should take that dumb piece. See if you can fix it. I'll try. Breaking everything won't help you progress in case that wasn't clear. <laughs> right, a new path is open to you. Head back down to the... Communal grotto and down to level two. Oh, this is interesting. Oh. Oh, you made it. Good job, Vladdy. I thought you got locked out. Thank God for your teleporting powers. Okay, so this is new. This time Vladdy told you where he is from. <gasps> Vladdy is from small box. Very dark. Then stupid idiot brought him out the box, and it was sad. Now we are here. <laughs> <laughs> so you came from a box? I thought you came from Russia. Alright. After an unexpected hit, the maligned author was forced to write a sequel. This time, he saved everyone the trouble of reading the book altogether and revealed the killer on the back flap. The novel actually chronicles the detective's struggle to return a pair of defective pants. <laughs> so it's just like, he doesn't want to write books, so he just keeps making up shit and people like him anyway. Bob, I don't care how good a deal you got. No more lobbies, idiot. Poor Bob. He just wants to- Oh! This is what we were looking at! He was in here and he knocked a cup down. The asshole who's probably gonna murder me and we get a red marker. So do I do anything here? So I got a red marker. That's a good thing So this is gonna be like a scavenger hunt. There's also a water cooler. Oh, okay. I'll take the entire water cooler Sweet, I needed one of those All right facial recognition security checkpoint aha So we have a water cooler, so we're gonna need Something up there. Interesting. Hiya, Ted. Since you're so worried about security, I did you a favor and beefed up the doors to your room. You're absolutely welcome. Bob, you jerk. I can't even get into my own room because of these stupid discount security measures. Fix it. I'm sick of sleeping in the grotto. Cordially, Ted. Okay, so we need to get more stuff. Giving up on the corn's ability to be weaponized on any level, the scientists attempted to see if they could be of any use in a general workplace. They weren't. Opting to take naps instead. However, the corn did display a fondness for stacking orange boxes, which they did so every chance they could. The goal of which seeming to be directing the researchers to do what they wanted. <laughs> okay. Is this another rock? A rocky rock. Now this is a rock that knows its place in the world. Unquestioning, unwavering, happy and basking in its complete and utter rockiness. You have named it Shelby. That's uh, one of my cats was named Shelby. Or is it named Shelby? She's at my parents' house. Ooh, a box. So there's a plant. Item can be placed here. Item can be placed here. So we need a plant. Ooh. Pruning shears. Ooh, I hear a robot thing. So this is Bob's room. It looks pretty wrecked. Dirty socks. Capuchin cheat treats. Who cares? They're monkeys. Made with real stuff. Whoa, okay. He's eating monkeys. All right. A box of monkey treats. Oh, no, it's a box four. There's a monkey somewhere Vladdy you might get replaced. What the fuck's wrong with you Vladdy? What happened to you Vladdy? You're just ahead He's stuck at the ground Vladdy. I don't know what's going on with you, but 
You'll be okay. There's a freaking, <gasps> wait. Bob mistakenly thought that capuchin was another word for delicacy and ordered thousands of boxes to snack on when he was told that the, what th told the snacks were. In fact, for monkeys, he ate them anyway. Oh no, there's not a monkey. A navigational chat. There's a small, it's a small navigational chat of the Pacific Ocean with a very peculiar course plotted from the United States to an island in the middle of the ocean. The course has more in common with the movement of a small fly than any natural vessel. It apparently is part of Operation Sub... Subquanium Evadier, but owing to your poor understanding of all languages, you mistakenly think it's a chain restaurant specializing in Italian cuisine. All right. Aha! There's a kitchen. There's the plant that we need. You Up. take so many useless things, idiot. Where are you, Vladdy? I don't even see you. I need this plant. I need, I, I need it. I don't even know where Vladdy is. Vladdy's invisible. Can be opened from kitchen. Oh. Well, I'm not getting in there for a bit. And I'm guessing if I find whatever that thing, I can draw a face on it. This is gonna be the hair. Okay, a trim plastic plant is much nicer now. And I think this goes on the thing I need, this. So now we need a ball. There's also a downstairs area down there with a shit ton of notes. <gasps> is that the ball we need? How the fuck do we get down there? Tell me how to get down there. Can I jump? Can I jump down there? Oh, there's a stairwell. Okay, this is what I missed. Okay, this was sneaky. There's a ball somewhere. I saw it. Master plan. Appears to be the only thing Fernando, the founder's assistant, put any effort into, aside from shredding important documents and wearing fancy fedoras and gloves. It is a very poor plan involving jumper cables, a strange lightning rod, and somehow turning into an all-powerful god. Notes read that stupid corn told me their secret and Bob and Ted will be my assistants now. So that's the guy that died outside with the fedora. It was Fernando. Oh yeah, it was Fernando. I remember the name tag. Aha. Medicine ball. This is for us. Sweet. And there's a coffee trolley out of coffee. Oh, can we put coffee in it? Apparently we can put coffee in it. Can I put my English muffin in it? No. Hiya, Fernando. Could you be a pal and place the tour brochures across the facility? There's only a few hundred, so you'll be able to do that in no time flat. Fernando, you cretin. Ignore that idiot Bob's request. What you really need to do is sort the samples in the genetics lab from least reactive to most. So go do it. Hiya, Fernando. Got a more important job for you than that. Need the statue directly above you moved about an inch or so. Scaffolding's really, or scaffolding's already set up, so you'll you'll finish in about an hour or so. Thanks, Fernando. You lazy oaf! Don't touch that statue. We don't need it yet. Another insurance claim. Instead, go to the second floor of the barn and observe the corn's behavior in their habitat for several days. <laughs> and don't move a muscle. That'll throw the data off. Jesus. Hi, uh, hi, Fernando. Don't worry about that observation stuff. The corn will take their own notes. Really need you to hang about a few dozen new paintings that just came in. Be a pal and set that up. Would you please? Thanks. Fernando, you twit. Don't lift a finger for those paintings. Instead, use the pen. Draft a letter for me. Dear Bob, you are a nitwit and an idiot. Cordially, Ted. Cordially, Ted. Wow. Their conversations are a delight. That's cool. Look at the face. Use marker to draw the worst face in the world. It appears you took drawing lessons from a leather, leather couch. <laughs> Jeez, that's pretty harsh. Okay, so now we put the ball up here and now we do the security check. Place the worst face in the world in front of the cameras. It worked. Oh, that does not sound good. That does not sound good. Aha, <gasps> I finally found you. You've fallen into my clutches, just like all the others. I must say, I'm quite disappointed. I thought you were more clever, more interesting. But no matter. Now, your suffering will be so incomprehensible that your small mind will stupid break. Stupid plant, why is your face like that? <laughs> but what is that? Your stupid face is very bad. <laughs> Dumb plant. Is that on purpose? <gasps> Shut up, you mean... <laughs> Furry stupid, how dare you? I am the pinnacle of my race. You will pay for this insult. Let me just. <gasps> What's up, boy? Fight him! Buddy, Buddy, Buddy beat, beat him up! Ow, ow. Ow. You lazy law! Jeez! Oh. Has fighting is cheating. I win by default. Ha 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 ha! Your plans have been foiled by my plans, which are better than yours, you dummy! Ha 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 ha! Good job, Vladdy. 
and I am most certainly not retreating. <laughs> you kind of did. You know, this place is filled with idiots. <laughs> I understand, Vladdy. So that happened. Good job, Vladdy. Way to fight with your teeth. A lab report outlining further tests on the facility's breakthrough test subject, the famed female Ruby Queen corn. Much more concerning than the last one as it uses phrases like can't be controlled, the corn follow her, and much too British <laughs> recommends sequestering subject as soon as possible until further notice. Well, is she gonna turn on us? Written entirely in blue pen, in perfectly sized paragraphs, it's the most depressing diary known to man. Highlights include many thoughts on optimal sock organization, regrets on his partnership with Bob, and sadness that his own project, an experimental AI program, couldn't get funded. Aww. Poor Ted. He's so angry. So Ted's room is... is amazing looking. There's a picture of Ted. He's got some cool statues. I feel bad for Ted. Oh. A jar of Ronka, which is he, what he likes, and a you know corn candle holder. This is a candle holder carving of Dave, the legendary unicorn brought to life by a hungover demigod. This magical creature possessed near, near infinite foresight and complete lack of spatial awareness. It fell to its death immediately after it was created. Aww, poor Dave. We're gonna put this in the coffee cart. Yay! Oh, look at that, Vladdy. It opened up a little path for us. Is this gonna lead us to the kitchen? I believe it is. I believe it is. There's a little script for a Broadway musical. Ooh, an autobiography, an autobiographical, Jesus, can I not say words? An autobiographical, an autobiographical, blah, 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 blah. the story has several, several contu contuity, I can't. This is the guy that was just trying to kill me before. <gasps> Step ladder! Yes! That's what we needed. A bag filled with garbage. <laughs> Maybe it was the smell. Maybe it was the way the light caught the plastic. But something about this particular garbage filled the bag, caught your eye, and never let go. You will carry with it always. <laughs> God damn it. Frame popcorn ad. This garbage will not make you less stupid, idiot. Vladdy, please. Bob, I don't care how much you love this third-rate popcorn. Stop framing ads and hanging them here. It's stupid. <laughs> okay, so we can open that. Nice. Unlock kitchen door. Got some craft glue. And got some notes. Hiya, Ted. Just want to let you know I spilled some soda on some of your things and put them here to dry out. Nothing serious. Just some old moldy photos and papers in your important pile. Sorry. Bob, I hate you so much. There we go. Nice. I don't know if Vladdy can come with us. Oh, we're outside. Vladdy follows you somehow. How'd you do that, Vladdy? Oh, damn. We're back outside, man. I don't know if we should end here. We're back outside. Can we go back down? We cannot. Interesting. Vladdy. This is interesting. We're back outside in the maze of corn. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Maze. If you guys would like to see any more, please destroy the like button down below and leave some comments. And I always appreciate the support. You guys are awesome. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye.